So this is a dragonfly. It's still alive. I just caught it outside. I just tagged it on the wing. I'm I like to give marks on them so that they so that I know that I caught them if I catch them again. So this I can't identify the species, but it's a type of dragonfly. See here in the thorax. There are 16, 16 independent muscles that control each of the wings. Four control each wing. That's why dragonflies can beat each of their wings independently. I can tell this is a male because it has clutters here for grasping females. Uh, uh, when they're mating. This head. The head. See the eyes? The eyes are right here and right here. They have 30, 30, 28 to 30,000 lenses, uh, lenses, tiny, tiny lenses that, uh, that can make a detailed vision. And see the mandibles? The mandibles are really powerful. Some dragonflies, but not this kind, can break through skin with those mandibles. Legs. The legs are, they cannot, uh, dragonflies cannot walk because their dra their legs aren't shaped this, the right way. They use their legs to make a cage around mosquitoes to trap them. Some eat in flight, but most uh, perch on the, on a plant or stem to eat. And I'm going to let the dragonfly go. I'm going to fly away. So usually they they vibrate their wings to warm up the wings to about 40 degrees Celsius so that they can that so that they're warm enough to fly because dra dragonflies need to beat their wings 30 times a second to fly. It's not fluttering right now. Maybe it likes your hand, huh? I don't want to pull it off because it will bite me. I have an idea. So usually what I do is, sometimes I, come on, yeah, there it goes. Mm. See how powerful those wings are? 